So following last season, how much time did the two of you spend together before the boys arrived for pre-season, analysing where your pack got to and what needed to be some of the main work-ons to start this year? It's not because, because of the way the seasons run now, although they do have a break and we all have a break in, in the summer, you are in more of a sort of continuous development sort of uh, pathway. So although there are some things uh, that you can only introduce in the off season, if you're going to really change a system or something, you do need time to do it because anything you don't do off season is very hard to install in just from a time point of view. Um, certainly from, from our point of view, we've sort of been more of a fluid transition building on the work we did in, in last season. Uh, all, all round, both set piece all round in our forward play um, so it's not so much big changes, it's more of a continuation of the build and of course as, as Ross will probably highlight, because he's been here a year now, it's quite easy for us just to move fluidly, whereas last year we were really, we started from scratch didn't we, yeah, we actually we literally went right, we're going to do everything from scratch kind of all of the old stuff uh, and that, I mean that was the starting point for you when you came in wasn't it? Yeah it's um it kind of obviously where I came in last year um, and kind of stripping away uh, and really refreshing uh, and adding in a, a kind of a new a new system around scrum and trying to build that culture um, not up again but trying to create a, a fresh a new um, really interesting this year is actually reviewing that and actually where the start point is this year with a with a group that's a year on with that work um, individually collectively. Um, and, and it's really been interesting for us as coaches kind of coming in and going, actually, we can move that part on a little bit quicker than what we did last year. And actually, actually, are we, f are we further ahead than, than this point than we were last year? And, um, but the, the biggest thing with, with it is also remembering the foundations and remembering that those fundamentals of actually what, what allowed us to play our game last year, especially as a forward pack, that they stay constant and, and they, they stay in this season, in this pre-season programme as well as last year. So. And when it is a pack and they have to be so integrated, how much time do you have to spend on that culture side of things and making sure that new boys have integrated well before you go for the harder, the more set-piece driven stuff? So I'd say you're doing it all the time. So that gets reinforced in the, in the gym, uh, it gets reinforced in the changing room, it gets reinforced on the pitch. So you're constantly building that. i constantly aware. I mean, as, as you know, we're kind of alert to whatever's said around the lads uh, all the time. So you're always monitoring it. I think, again, the difference this year, having, having been together for a little while now, is the group, although it was young last year, um, they have had that time together and what we're seeing is the younger guys coming through us slotting in way quicker. So a bit like Ross says, certainly from a set piece point of view, we're still working on the foundations, but the quality of those has probably improved quicker because the young lads coming in are getting really, uh, they're getting the information from the older guys. Some of whom, when I say older, they're not really older, but they've just been around for a year or two. Um, and that transfer is happening much, much faster. I mean, to be fair, they've been great in the gym. Um, and we do, when we talk about the gym, there's a lot of what we do is covered in the gym as well as on the field. Um, so there's a lot of transfer in there. So I guess it's, it's been reinforced constantly in terms of the, the actual physical uh, physical foundations, but also mentally, just in terms of how we operate as a group, uh, how we go about uh, each day, uh, how we go about our meetings, all those things are constantly just reinforcing one or two points that are, that are key to us. Yeah, probably the, probably the only thing I'd add on to that is just in around, obviously, the expectations um, and kind of the accountability within the group, I think, uh, from, from last year is he's being able to push that on uh, and in a sense of a coach but also them as a group because there's a continuation of a of a large uh, majority of that forward pack is those guys are aware what we expect uh, from them and, and also what they expect from us to a certain degree as well and kind of as a, as a whole collective um, they're actually taking that on themselves and actually driving that um, last year was very much in and around myself uh, driving and driving around scrum time and actually these guys now their voices and their um, and their understanding of now is coming to the surface um, and obviously I'll still be in the background shouting away and barking away and whatever but at the same time it's going to be those guys out on the pitch um, and the, and it really came to fruition last year's uh, in, in, in games in and around that set piece and 
for me, those guys driving that within and bringing, uh, bringing in those guys that are either new to the program from externally or new to the program from within our, within our academy structures um, is really great to see and actually how that's been done, like as Rob was saying, in the gym, uh, in training, on the training paddock, but also socially as well. And as we start to hit the later stages of pre-season, we go into those friendlies. What are the key attributes you're looking for on the field, be it confidence, skill, leadership? What are you hoping they have developed when we hit that first friendly game? Yeah, pretty much all those. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. I also wanted to see the best version of themselves, being them, um, being who they are, what they bring, ultimately uh, why they're here, um, why they're part of our forward pack. Um, and, and part of our team, um, and if they do that, you know they're the things that we'll, you know we'll see the technical skills, we'll see the rugby ability, and we'll see all of that. But to a certain degree as well, you know we we get lost in it in, in around performance as well. We actually want to see them go out there and, and have fun as a group of forwards uh, and, have a, and, a, and a team, and actually really have that attacking mindset, not not in the actual technical aspect of attacking and going out and attacking everything, whether or not it's the scrum, the set piece, uh, their, their breakdown, their uh, kick chase, whatever it is, and actually going out and attacking it and having some fun with some mates. Yeah, I agree with that. I think uh, so, certainly just in, ter in terms of when, we, when we're looking at player, it depends a little bit on where they, where they are. If they've just come out of the academy, then quite often you, you sort of persuading them that they deserve to be here uh, and to remember that they've got strengths and keep working on those because suddenly what they don't know suddenly becomes very apparent to them and then they start thinking about what they don't know uh, and that slows them down and they stop being good at the bits they were good at uh, to start with. With some of the older boys as well, I mean, I find cert certainly with English players, it, it, there's, there's quite a lot of limiting beliefs knocking around because people have just reinforced just you can't do this, you can't do that. It's not, not strictly true, so it's kind of freeing up guys to... To, to be able to go out onto the pitch play and really, really force their strengths onto into our system. Because there's, you know, rug rugby is still, and will hopefully stay, uh, a game for all shapes and sizes. There's a role for everybody. It, it, so you just got to find out the bit that you're good at and then force that onto the pitch.